Yeah, you saw that was quite risky. All these are just variables that nobody had catered for. It didn't even occur to me that all this could happen, might happen. One hell of a ride, I tell you. It's just, just, it's just too much. Good morning, Shithorn Brothers. Good morning, fam. So right now we are on day two of Delhi. So I told you guys that we had stopped in Delhi. The uh, second night we stayed over in Noida. If you guys remember, I had the tire had got punctured and I had changed it myself. Because that has become number one aim right now. So to change the step knee to replace the tire that originally was. Alright. So right now we are headed. So once this is done, we are going to head towards Manali. The total distance is 573 kilometers. We leave is reach in another 10, 11 hours. Once we reach Manali, we are planning to stay over for the night and then proceed tomorrow morning all the way from Manali till Leh. I thought that we could travel from here directly to Leh, which is a total distance of 973 kilometers. But that is not possible because I've been told that since it is mountainous road guard section, it is not safe to drive a 973 kilometers at a stretch. So the plan is right now we're going to go from here till Manali, stay over for the night and then from Manali move forward to late tomorrow. This is Sarojini Market in Delhi and what we are doing right now is we are on our way to Leh and we are covering Sarojini Market on the way. What about this? This is not nice. Yeah, it's fair. Let's start with the star. Okay. Now? No. Let's start with the star. Let's start with the star. I'm so cold Yeah, my heart's sinking Like a soul We're another 200 kilometers away from uh, Manali, but the thing is, we have started our ascent on the hill, ascent of the hill. The problem is, though it is only 200 kilometers, the the time that Google Maps is showing is around six hours. The reason being is that this. You can see it's just a it's just one big line and one big pile of trucks, and it's a single lane road and it's guard section. So you can imagine it is very difficult to overtake or cover distance. So this is the issue and one more thing I have to tell you guys is if you are driving up this road please be very careful steep edges on both sides steep drops on both sides you do not know from the blind curve who's coming on the opposite side okay it is not safe as you can see it's just trucks one after the other so behind me I'm not sure if you guys can see but it's a pile of cars all right so all of us are just stuck behind the trucks there's nothing much we cannot there's nothing much we can do Yeah, you saw. That was quite risky. Okay? So, once in a while you get such a, you know, clear stretch. Yeah. You know, so once in a while you get a clear stretch. But then again, you know, if you're overtaking, please be careful. But then you pass the trucks and you can see that, you know, you get an empty stretch. So, yeah, it's a mixture of both, you know, clear stretch and you have to pile up behind trucks. But just be careful, alright? Have a safe drive. I'll see you on top. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Currently we are in Sundar Nagar, okay, another 100 kilometers to go till Manali and this is the view behind. So we've just stopped for a break. 
Oh, one hell of a ride, yaar. Seriously. But today was better than yesterday, you know? Not that tiring. She rests. I don't know. Yeah, what? Nothing. See what you have done to me. So yeah, that is it. Next update in Manali. Let's go. So this is another problem, guys. You, you can see this GACB bulldozer, who he is, you know, he is clearing out the road. So if the bulldozer occupies the road, then all of them are just standing on the other side as well. As well, there are cars. I have come in some perpendicular road because. This was some off-roading track, and they sent me here. All these are just variables that nobody had catered for. It didn't even occur to me that all this could happen, might happen. It's been one hell of a ride, I tell you. It's just, just, it's just too much. So recently, I found out that there have been a lot of landslides in the area because of which. So you know, one side of the road has been made into two lanes. Okay, so it's both for incoming and oncoming traffic, incoming and outgoing traffic. So you know, just be wary of those signs. And even when you're coming up the hill, you see on the left side there's a lot of rocks, and you know you can make out that you know a lot of landslides have happened. 